guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I thought I'd uh, be out for a quick couple of hours after work. Still three work stuff on. Put me out. This weather's just suddenly, I think it's going to start raining. It's lovely before. And now it's, uh, I can just feel the spots of water coming out. I hope it doesn't rain now, I've come here. So I'm going to try again in this field. It's still not ploughed it yet, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, if you watched the last video, I've got a coin in the last video, so I'm going to pick up, see if I can't find it. I know there's a few little spots in this field I haven't done, so I'm going to rent it out, see what I pick up. So in this video, uh, this is going to be a relic picker up a mode video. <laughs> what, what can I pick up from last time I was here? So all I have to say is thanks for watching, and join me on the next hole. It's just too good. Hi guys, first decent signal, that's a screamer of a signal that is, but to me that sounds just too good. Normally when signals come out that loud, that banging, it's normally a tin can, as a rule. See it moving there. I'll dig it and see what it is. Thanks for watching, let's see what this find is. Hi guys, this is the find. I was half right. <laughs> it wasn't a tin case, a chewed up piece of tin foil. Chewed up piece of tin foil. I said it, it, it sometimes it, it just gives off too good of a signal. It's too good of a signal. Sounds like a massive great big silver. Well, I mean, it could have been a great big silver coin. It's not, but it could have been. And you think, oh, and then you go in for it and it's this. Never mind. It's a find. It's going in the edge. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Guys, this is next find. Sorry, it's just made me laugh finding this. Look, it is actually it's blooming heavy for a shovel. It is a shovel. Or oh, it's a shovel shape. You see it? Why is there some weight to that? That's kind of a cool find in a way. If it wasn't a great big chunk of iron shovel. What did they use that for? Maybe they used to dig the fields by hand years ago. <laughs> I don't know. It's quite a cool find. I'm going to have to be quick because it's just started to rain on me. I don't like the look of this guy. Not very clever, does it? <laughs> but anyway, I should keep going for a bit longer. Maybe this is the shovel that shoveled all this coal in this field that I keep digging up and all. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Jump in the next hole. Hi guys, here's next find. It's quite a, I wouldn't say a strange object this, but I'll just show you how deep that was. Where's it? Power point there. It's what? Ooh, depth of the throw point, or at least. And this has come out. A big round O. I don't think it's iron, it's not giving it, it's giving off a belting signal. I don't know. What do you run? An old chain link perhaps or it must be old down there. It's another mystery. Another mystery. Anybody's got any ideas other than just a <laughs> a bit of rounderitis? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Jump in the next hole. Hi guys, next find. Oh, I'm so pleased I found this. When I, when I first got the signal for, for this, it, uh, it came, it went, it came, it went, and uh, once I dug it, it went completely. Um, so I put it in pinpoint mode on the garret, 
and it was still giving me like there was something there but it wouldn't it wouldn't pick it up it was giving me no tones no signals so then I went in with my probe and then uh, deep down this came out awesome little range guide that's cool that I mean I don't know how old that is late Victorian perhaps that's mega I like that and there's another one we also would have had you know a bit would have gone through there and then you'd have had your reins in it and it would have been get up get up Come on, Mr. Red, let's get some work done. <laughs> so that's what that is, a range guy. Cool. It's awesome find. It's giving off a good signal now, but when it was in the hole, it just wouldn't sound off. So it just shows sometimes what do you miss. And when it, before I thought it was just like a boop, boop, like a very faint boop. So I should carry on digging. Oh, don't, oh, I don't mind some more of these relics like that. I don't mind stuff like this. You know, these fields were worked by horses years ago. I don't know what the coal was for. I don't think they fed them coal. <laughs> but that's what, you know, they used to work them with the horses. I'm surprised they've not found a few more horse brasses or something, but that's cool. So that's what that is, a range guide. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi right, guys, gonna call it a night for tonight. Is that fine of the night? <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's starting to rain a bit more. Um, the fines are getting very slim now. I hit this field so hard when I got the two hammers that I don't think there was much of it. I didn't leave unturned. And Chris came in with the dais. So I'm just picking up. But I mean, I, I still love things like that. I like things, all right, it doesn't make for a very good video. And I know a lot of people are gonna think, Deck, I am watching for that. <laughs> so, my viewing figures will go. <laughs> but I like that. I like that. Yeah? That to me is history. And this is what we're here for. It's not just about the gold and the silver, it is about the history as well. And that, I mean, you're probably looking 100, 120 year old maybe, but it's still, it's history. It shows, you know, the working in here. You know, people who work in fields aren't the richest of people. And farmers are always saying, you've never got any money. And even back then they were saying, I ain't got any money. <laughs> so they weren't going to be losing pockets full of gold. But they were losing things like that. Or the horses were losing things like that. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I was going to go in my... Uh, and what I'll probably actually do, I'll give that to the farmer. Because he likes things like that. You know, it's his family's history. I mean, his family probably worked these fields for years and years and years and years so his great 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 grandparents might have lost that so yeah i'll give it to him when i see him nice little all night buckle um all brain thing so um all i have to say is uh, thanks for watching please don't forget to like comment and please subscribe if you can uh, you know that button's there on the way past if you go on the way past awesome so it'll be many thanks if you could do that. And all's left to say is uh, thanks for watching and join me on the next hunt.